All right. Good afternoon, C period. So please go ahead and reorganize yourselves if you've already sat down in the seats, in the assigned seats that I have on the board. Um, these are your assigned seats. Uh, Miss Murphy, if you don't mind, please go ahead and start taking attendance as the students go ahead and rearrange themselves. If Miss Murphy is asleep, can Blair, you are really close to her, can you go ahead and wake her up? If not, then Miss Murphy, I didn't say anything. Um, go ahead and take your seats. And as you guys are getting settled, as Miss Murphy is taking attendance, um, you got Miss Murphy, you can either call out loud, take attendance, pause this video if you're going to do that so we're not both talking, or you can just use the seating chart. As for my students, I want you guys whispering to each other, to the people next to you, try to figure out how on earth I organized you, okay? Behind your seat, there's a number. For example, Chloe, you are number one. Nicholas, you are number two, okay? So on and so forth. I want you guys to try to talk to each other and try to figure out how did Mr. Yurko organize us in this room, okay? I will give you about five minutes. Miss Murphy, can you time it? Please pause this video while you guys try to figure it out. Actually, um, let's have Sebastian. I had you last year. Sebastian, you're really close to the front. I want you to click on this video and pause it while you guys talk about where you're seated and how I organized you, okay? Miss Murphy, count about five minutes. Give them five minutes to do that. Okay, you should have pressed play now to start the video again. If you didn't, pause me again. But you guys were organized based on your birthday. So if, for Chloe, she is the closest birthday to January 1st all the way to Emma H. You are the closest birthday to December 31st, okay? If you guys got it, if you guys got it right, round of applause. If you didn't, try harder, okay? I'm just kidding. All right, um, so these are your assigned seats for the quarter, okay? Every single quarter, your assigned seats will change. That's up to my discretion. Maybe it goes great, and I want to keep you guys in the same seats. Whatever it may be, these are your assigned seats. Now, there's probably a decent chunk of you missing because the freshmen are at orientation, okay? Um, these assigned seats, were, I'm going to have this pulled up for tomorrow as well. Guys, if there's someone missing next to you, please try to remember their name. Maybe write it down somewhere so that tomorrow you can help them out because they are freshmen. They're scared of everything, and tomorrow will be their first day in this class. So please be um, responsible upperclassmen at McCarthy and help them out tomorrow when they come into this room for the first time. Okay. Moving on, let's get this show on the road. So these are my other periods. You guys don't need to know about that. Okay, today is your first day of school. You guys have freaking got this, okay? Um, I know pretty much actually everyone in here is a sophomore, so this may seem repetitive, but please just bear with me, okay? Um, as for what the school looks like, this is where you are, okay? Oop. I need to take out a pen. This is where you are, okay? This is where my classroom is. It's right next to the car pickup area for students, okay? So if your parents are coming to pick you up, that's where they'll pick you up, right outside this classroom or at the front of the school, whichever one, okay? The front of the school is right here. This is the main office if you come in through here. This is the chapel. This is the gym. This is the student center, aka the cafeteria. Here are some portables. And then all of these, this area and this area are your classrooms, okay? Um, and then obviously the track is over here, the baseball fields, so on and so, and the softball field, so on and so forth, okay? So these are just some, this is a campus map. If you're new to McCarthy, you um, probably appreciate me showing this. If you are not new to McCarthy, you're like Mr. Yurko, we already know what all this is. And I know, okay, but bear with me. All right, moving on. Um, okay, so at this point, uh, Sebastian, I need you to make sure that you that everyone has their syllabus out. So if you need to pause this video to make sure everyone has their syllabus, pause the video. But you're going to download my syllabus. There's a bunch of different places you can download it. You're going to have to go to Canvas. Once you go to Canvas, you're going to have to go to uh, the general classroom information. And in that, you're going to find today's assignment and you can download the syllabus from there. Okay. But again, go to Canvas. You can either download it from the homepage or you can go to general classroom information in modules. 
Those of you that had me last year, you should have no problem finding the syllabus. So please help those around you that can't find it. And I want you guys to import that syllabus into Notability because we are going to be taking notes on it. Okay? This is for geometry. So Sebastian, if, you, if people around you need more help finding the syllabus, please pause this video. So take a quick poll. If Ms. Murphy is asleep, please wake her up to make sure that she is facilitating. Ms. Murphy, I'm just kidding. Okay? I know that you're awake. Totally. If she's asleep, okay? Make sure that she's awake. Blair, that's your job. Okay. Um, so on the syllabus, you're going to notice <clears throat> that there's a Roman numeral number two, and it says instructor. It's going to say Mr. Antonio Yurko, and then I need you to highlight my email address, and I need you to highlight the room number, okay? My email address, this is what you'll use to contact me when you're reaching me outside of school hours. If you're reaching me during school hours, you can also email me or you can just pop by and talk to me, okay? Which are, whatever floats your boat. That is my room number, okay? And this will be the whole year, hopefully, unless something crazy happens and I change rooms, okay? Um, this is geometry. If your schedule does not say that you should be in geometry right now, please double check it because um, you may be in the wrong classroom. All right. Everything that you need to know about my course is on this or is on the next few slides, okay? The first thing that I want to discuss is Canvas, okay? Canvas is where you're going to find everything for the day, okay? The first thing that we start with, and this is literally an everyday thing, is the warm-up, okay? I have a question for you every single day that you're going to get started on. Now, what I'm trying this year is I'm trying to have those warm-up questions be SAT-style questions, okay? And it's also where you're gonna find your notes for the day, okay? So if you miss class, that's where you'll find the notes. If you're in class, you're gonna go straight to today's assignment, you're gonna download the notes. Guys that had me last year, you guys know how organized I can be with this stuff. Every single day there's a new assignment, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna download what you need to download, okay? If there's classwork due, that's where you're gonna find it. It's all gonna be on Canvas. And if there's homework, you're also gonna to go to Canvas and you're gonna find it, okay? Now, homework has two parts. Okay, there's two parts because there's a big ideas part and there's a canvas part. So for homework, you're gonna be assigned questions through our textbook, which is called Big Ideas, okay? So on Big Ideas, you'll get that website later. There's going to be your textbook and it's gonna assign you questions. You're gonna go through those questions and you're gonna write down all of your work on a page on Notability, okay? So you're gonna keep your work and big ideas separate, okay? If you guys wanna make notes of this on your syllabus, feel free, but also make sure that whatever I tell you to highlight, you're also highlighting, okay? So for your homework, there's gonna be a work portion and a big ideas portion. For the big ideas portion where you're getting the questions, you're gonna submit your assignment through the website, okay? Now your work, you're gonna submit that through Canvas. Okay, so whatever work, whatever work you're showing for an assignment in Notability, you're gonna take that work and you're gonna submit it on Canvas at the same time that you're gonna submit the Big Ideas work through Big Ideas, okay? So all of your answers are gonna go down on Big Ideas. I make sure that you showed work for your questions through Canvas and you submitted it there, okay? Now, if there's 10 questions on your homework, I expect 10 questions numbered on your work that's submitted to Canvas. So even if it's a question that, for example, is a yes or no question and maybe doesn't require any work, you're still going to write that question number down and you're going to put your answer. So for example, if number one and two required work, you would put one, you would have your work, you'd put two, you'd have your work, then your answer. If number three is a yes or no question and you're answering it yes, this is what I expect to see on Notability, okay, that you're uploading to Canvas. Every single question needs a number, okay? All right, and if you go all the way up, okay, in your syllabus, I need you guys to go to the Roman numeral seven, where it says teaching strategies and methods. If there's no work, there's no credit. So I need you to highlight that. If you don't upload anything to Canvas with your work on it, you are not getting credit for that assignment. I don't care if you got 100% of the questions right on big ideas. All right, that one's pretty standard. The next one, we've got grades, okay? Grades can also be found on Canvas. And I expect you guys to be keeping up with your own grades, okay? I'm not gonna baby you, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, 
hey, you're not doing well, you're missing these assignments. Guys, there's like 160 of you in all my classes and there's one of me, okay? I'm gonna do my best to keep, be on top of you guys, but you guys also need to have some responsibility for your own grades, okay? Um, and you guys are also sophomores. Most of you are sophomores in here, okay? So for those of you that are sophomores, I need you guys to be on top of your stuff, okay? And make sure that you're looking out for your own grades, okay? All right, the big idea is textbooks. So we already touched on this. This is where you'll find the textbook. That's where you'll do your homework, okay? Um, and then there's a grading scale for your homework, okay? So for homework, those of you that had me last year, you guys know this scale. If you score between 100 and 70% on your homework, that equates to 100 in the grade book, okay? So the, if you get an 83% on the questions assigned on big ideas, you will see 100% pop up on the grade book. If you score between a 50% and a 70%, excuse me, not a 70, between a 50 and a 69%, that will equate to an 80% in the grade book, okay? And then if you score below a 50, so less than a 50%, in the grade book, you'll see a 60% there, okay? I'm very lenient, okay? I care more about that you are attempting the problems and showing me all your work than that you get them 100% correct, okay? Now, when you don't get something right, I need you to go back over that problem and figure out what you did wrong. That is how we learn, okay? I'm okay if you get it wrong, but figure out why you got it wrong. Don't just get it wrong and be like, eh, I really don't care. It'll come back. Those questions that are on your homework are gonna appear on an exam and you wanna get those right the next time around, okay? All right, notability. This is where you will be taking all of your notes and you will be doing your homework you'll have your homework notes or your homework work in there, okay? Notability is very, very cool because you can split screen it with another app. So if you don't know how to split screen, you guys are way more tech savvy than me, ask your neighbor. If you know how to split screen, you maybe ask some questions right now, okay? Don't explain it right now. Give me a sec to finish up this video and then help your neighbor out as we go along, okay? Tests and quizzes will all be given in class and they'll all be on paper, okay? The only exception to this is that sometimes there's a project worth a quiz grade, okay? But that will be explained in the future. All right, I've got a little meme here. It says, me, I do my math inside my head and my teacher thinks that's impossible, so they're going to give you a zero, okay? Make sure you do all of your work on paper. All right, next, our textbook. I need you guys to highlight big ideas, math, geometry, a bridge to success. Now, you guys have access to the textbook online through big ideas. If you want to purchase a hard copy, that is why I've attached that there, and that is why I'm asking that you highlight it in your syllabus. So take a second now, locate this section that I'm underlining in red, the textbook section in your syllabus, and highlight the name of the textbook. The author is Ron Larson and Lori Boswell, if you need to find it online. Okay, moving on. All right, more of everything you need to know. Guys, there are going... Oh, no. Shoot. Okay, so it kind of covered up what happened. We're not gonna freak out, we're just gonna deal with it. Okay, so YouTube, there are recorded lessons, okay? I record all of my lessons, and you can find them by going to my page and clicking subscribe. Wow, I sound like an influencer. Okay, so you're gonna record your lessons. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna record my lessons. You can find my YouTube page by searching the name Antonio Yurko. You probably wanna write that down in your syllabus, okay? And then you're gonna click the subscribe button. Do you have to click the subscribe button? Yes, at least initially. You can unsubscribe at any moment, but please subscribe in the beginning, okay? Anytime there's a new video uploaded, it will be uploaded to YouTube and you will get a notification. Why is this important, Mr. Yurko? Well, if you miss class, you will go to my YouTube page to find the lesson that you missed. If you are studying for my exam and the last minute, you will go to my YouTube page and look up the video and be like, oh, I remember how to do this, okay? If you're studying for a quiz, whatever it may be, okay? Even just to get through the homework, you can go back and rewatch my video and listen and learn from the students that are answering questions. Whatever it, you need to do, okay? My lessons are all uploaded to there, okay? What happens if I miss a day of school? That's what this says. I know you can't see it, bear with me, okay? If you miss a day of school, Canvas is all-knowing. Canvas is basically Yoda. This is Canvas, okay? 
Canvas is all knowing and you would watch my YouTube video of a lesson, okay? Now always go to Canvas first because I could have assigned a classwork assignment. You would never know that unless you went to Canvas and found out what we did for that day, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, the next section, I know you can't read it, it talks about GimKit. And GimKit, we're not going to talk about now. We'll talk about that later, but I do use it a lot. It's very, very helpful. Um, and this year, we're going to do a competition between all periods. So, for example, all of you guys in this room are going to be the C period, and you guys are going to compete with all the other classes. And if you win, I'll give you, like, some kind of party or something. I don't know. You guys went pretty crazy last year over donuts, so maybe I'll do donuts. Okay, this is supposed to say office hours. Okay, and my office hours for you guys, for my Geo Kids, is Mondays and Wednesdays from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. Guys, wake up in the morning and come do math with me. It'll be super fun. No, I'm kidding, okay? Um, I try to make this class as fun as possible, but at the same time, guys, we need to be on top of our stuff. So if you are, and it's it, there's literally... It happens every to every single student every single year. There will be a lesson where you're going to be like, oh, I just don't get this. You have to come to my office hours. Students came all of last year to my office hours and it made a huge difference, okay? If you're struggling with anything, it could be something that you maybe learned in the past. It could be old material. Bring it to office hours. You come in here. I can help you out. Your classmates can help you out, okay? It's... It's an opportunity for us to all get on the same page. So if you need to take advantage of those office hours, please come and use them, okay? I had, people were in my office hours every single time last year. There was no office hours where nobody showed up, okay? That's saying something. First of all, it's saying that it works. So people who come are, realize that it's helping. And second, it also shows that, it also shows me that you care, okay? Um, all right. Next thing on your syllabus that you need to do, there are four things you will need to bring for this class and they are circled. I need you to circle them on your syllabus. Circle the graphing calculator, you'll need a graphing calculator. I recommend that you get one that you can also use on the SAT. Don't waste money for no reason. You will need a folder, you will need pencils, and you will need red pens, okay? How many pencils do I need, Miss Yurko? You could go the full year with just one pencil, but bring it. How many red pens do I need? You could go the full year with just one red pen. I don't know, okay? But we are using those. This is different than last year. Last year, I gave you guys pencils, and I lost a lot of pencils. So I recommend you bring your own, because if I don't have a pencil, you're tough luck, bud, okay? Um, all right, so those four things need to be circled on your syllabus. And I know I'm giving you a ton of information, so I wanted to show you a before and after picture of before the first day of school and after the first day of school, okay? I'm not trying to stress you out, guys. This is a lot of information, but the more that we practice this information in my classroom, the more you'll get used to it. Those of you that know my routine from last year, you're gonna be like, easy breezy, not much has changed, okay? Those of you that haven't had it before, I know it's a lot. And those of you that are new to McCarthy, it's a Whew, it's really a lot, okay? But that's why you have people next to you, to your left and to your right. Someone has gone to McCarthy before in here. Please talk to them, get to know them. They will help you through it, okay? All right, my grading skill. This is the same as last year for those of you that had me last year. Tests are worth 50%, quizzes are worth 30, homework and classwork is worth 20. There will be three quizzes and three tests minimum per quarter, okay? I need you guys on your syllabus to find grading policies. Grading policy, I need you guys to add a little box. Do you see this box right here? Add this next to the grading policy, okay? So next to tests, which are 50%, you need to add that there are three tests. Next to quizzes, which are 30%, you need to add three quizzes. And next to homework and classwork, about 10 to 15 graded assignments per quarter, okay? All right. Um, that's approximately two per week that are graded, okay? I may grade one, I may grade three in one week, okay? It's about two per week that are graded. Um, so that means that not every single assignment you turn into Canvas is graded. I pick them at random. So you need to do all of them, 
but not every single one is graded. Now, you might get lucky and not turn in an assignment that isn't graded, okay? But don't make that a habit, all right? I would turn in every single assignment, play it safe, because you guys have no way of telling which, which ones I'm going to grade. I think they're testing the bells, so if you hear that noise, I apologize. And you mean teachers don't give grades, students earn them? Fascinating. Guys, those of you that had me last year, I don't do anything to bump up your grades. Stay on top of your stuff. Stay on top of your homework. You will not be given a chance to turn in late assignments at the end of a quarter, okay? You need to be on top of your schoolwork and be responsible for what you are turning in, okay? All right, now last but not least, go down to the syllabus and look up the classroom rules and regulations. We're gonna go through this as quickly as possible, okay? Number one, be seated and working on the warm up when the bell rings, highlight that statement. That is super important, we already went over that. You need to be working on the warm up, not walking to your desk when that bell rings, okay? If you are just arriving to class, you're in the classroom but you're not in your seat, the bell rings, you are late. If you are in your seat but you have nothing on your desk, you're not working on the warm up, you are late. It's that serious. If you have your iPad out but you're still in Canvas, not able to have the warm up out, you are late. Guys, it is that serious. I had a job interview with ESPN. I was three minutes early and they told me to go back home, okay? They did not even give me the chance to come interview, okay? It pays to be early, it pays to be on time, okay? All right, number two, raise your hand to ask questions and or make comments during a lecture, okay? There's nothing that people hate more than when someone just blurts out the answer, especially if they're wrong, okay? Please raise your hand. There's a lot of you in here. There will be even more, okay? And there's only one of me. Okay, so I need you guys to make sure that you're raising your hand to answer my questions. Number three, students should bring a charged iPad and pencil with them each day. Students will need to have a graphing calculator. Again, I'm making you get that graphing calculator. It's useful for the SAT. You're gonna need to get one at some point in your mathematics career in high school. Um, and if your iPad is not charged, tough luck. You're gonna take notes on a paper and pencil. You're gonna have to copy down a lot more than other people, okay? So make sure your iPad is charged. And no, you may not charge it in my class. Number four, work must be shown on all homework, classwork, quizzes, and tests. Problem turned in, problems turned in without work will receive no credit. Please highlight again because it's so important. If there's no work, you are getting no credit. You will be getting zeros with no explanation because the explanation is the fact that you didn't show any work. Number five, there's no food or drink, including gum, permitted in the classroom. Water bottles are allowed, okay? I'm not gonna make you guys remain super thirsty okay you can drink water but there's no food or drink if you have food or drink and you need to eat it you can step outside for a moment and i will let you eat it outside in the hallway don't make it a routine though okay number six work continues until the bell i dismiss you not the bell okay highlight that the teacher dismisses you guys i rarely talk up until the bell and if it does i expect you to take notes and then once that bell rings, I will dismiss you, okay? I don't hold you past the bell, but please don't start packing up a minute before the bell, okay? Just work on your assignment until the bell rings. I'm usually pretty good about this, but sometimes I do run up until the bell. I dismiss you. Okay, um, number seven, respect me and your classmates and their property, okay? Respect goes both ways. I will make sure I'm respecting you guys. Please make sure that you're respecting me. All right, homework is given on a regular basis and must be submitted through Canvas by 8 a.m. Guys, 8 a.m. is a hard 8 a.m. Anytime after 8, it's going to be marked late. You're going to get a 50% grade. It's due 8 a.m. on the day determined by the teacher. Some assignments will be two days long. Make sure you're checking your Canvas. Students are expected to do homework each day at random. Again, that's at random. The teacher can collect notes for the day, including warm-ups, lecture notes, and group slash individual classwork for a graded classwork assignment. Assignments submitted within 24 hours of the due date will receive 50% credit. Failure to turn in homework beyond 24 hours will result in a zero. So there's no way to make those assignments up, okay? If it's excused, an excused absence, you have the amount of days that you were absent, you have that many days to make up your work. Failure to turn in a homework, uh, 
Makeup assignments must include your admin slip. So a field trip form, a sports schedule, whatever the reason was that you were out, a doctor's note, you need to attach that to your assignment. If there's no admin slip or uh, an attachment, I am not accepting your work. It's still going to either be a late grade or you're going to get a zero. Okay. Um, assignments will be posted on Canvas and it's your responsibility to make up all missed work. Okay. One thing that I need you guys to add in here on your syllabus is that makeup work. So if you are missing work and you're making it up for either a late grade or you were absent and you're attaching something, it needs a Canvas comment. Okay. That means you need to put a comment on Canvas stating that it was turned in late and the reason why. If it's just late, just put late. If there's an excuse, for example, I was at a football game, you would put that in the comments section. Okay. Um, this is a big one because I don't get notified that you turned in something late unless you put that comment. Okay, and then lastly, um, all AMHS rules apply, okay? So make sure you get all of these highlighted, that little extra comment down on number eight, and we are done going over the syllabus. Okay, moving on. Your keys to success in here are going to be to work hard and to ask questions, okay? What I ask of you in this class is to really have something called a growth mindset, okay? Now, what a growth mindset is, is it's someone who looks at a challenge and wants to overcome it. They don't back down from difficult things. So some of the subjects in this class are going to be difficult. It's geometry, it's not like algebra, okay? People who are good at algebra tend to struggle in geometry, okay? Some are really good at both, and some it's the opposite. So if you are bad at algebra, most of the time you're actually really good in geometry. Whatever the case may be for you guys, if it's hard, treat it as a challenge, okay? Work hard to overcome it. People with a fixed mindset will definitely say, I'm just not good at math or I'm not good at something. Guys, you can always overcome challenges, but it's gonna take hard work, okay? I teach growth mindset the entire year. You'll hear me say it all the time, and it'll start to click with some of you because I saw last year some people really took it to heart and they really succeeded and excelled in my class after never having a good year in math in their entire lives. So please commit to it. Believe it. I know it's corny, but you got you to gotta buy into it in order for it to work. Okay. All right. Um, here's your schedule for a normal day. The schedule is also on the board on the right. You guys, this is the last period. We're done at noon at 12 o'clock. Um, but on a normal day, you would go A, C. Um, the ones in red could be different on your schedule. I have first lunch, E, F, and G, H. You may have second lunch. Therefore, you would have D, E, and G, H. Or you could have third lunch, and you would have D, E, and F, G periods. Okay? And then I period and J period come last. Guys, we are starting at 8.05. That's a different time than normal. And we are ending at 2.20. This is a normal school day, okay? There's a picture of headphones here because you are going to need headphones for tomorrow's class. Please make sure that you bring those in because I am out the entire week. Yes, I'm missing the whole first week of school. I know, it's terrible. Okay, um, what I need you guys to do right now, and Miss Murphy, if you fell asleep again, Blair, can you wake her up? Thank you. Um, Miss Murphy, I need you to facilitate this activity with the students. How much do you guys know about me? Okay, so we're going to go through. Everyone needs to stand up. If you agree with the statement that's on the board, you are going to raise your hand. If you disagree with the statement that's on the board, you are going to keep your hand down. Okay, if you get the question right, you will remain standing. If you get one wrong, you'll be asked to sit. Okay, the last person standing, Miss Murphy, make sure that you're keeping track of who's getting them right or wrong and they're sitting or standing. Um, the last person standing will get a piece of candy from my candy box over on the right hand of the classroom. Um, Miss Murphy, if you're standing at the front of the class, it'll be on your left. It's that blue bin. If she can't find it, I'm sure Gabby R can help you out. All right, um, Gabby R, you're sitting really close to it. You're like the closest person to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. 
The first statement is true or false. I am a professional beach volleyball player. So I'll walk you guys through this one. If you think that's a true statement, you're going to raise your hand. If you think it's false, you're going to keep your hand down. Go ahead and raise or low, keep your hands down. This is true. So if you got it right, stay standing. If you got it wrong, please take a seat. So if you had your hand down, sit down. If you had your hand up, stay standing. Next one, true or false, I have four siblings, three brothers and one sister. If it's true, hand up. If it's false, hand down. Three, two, one. This is false. I only have three brothers, no sisters. If you got it right, stay standing. If you got it wrong, sit down. Next statement, true or false, I went to school to be a doctor. If you think it's true, hand up. If you think it's false, hand down. Three, two, one. False. Miss Murphy, anyone with their hand down will remain standing. Anyone who had their hand up, please sit down. Next question. True or false, I have gone skydiving. Three, two, one. If you had your hand up, stay standing, okay? I have definitely gone skydiving. It was one of the coolest experiences of my life. All right, true or false, my mother is from Slovenia. That is a country in Europe. Three, two, one. False, baby. Okay, uh, this is semi-true, but it's my dad that's from Slovenia. My mom is from South Dakota, born and raised. Okay, true or false, I went to Archbishop McCarthy. Three, two, one. This is true. I am an alumni. Love McCarthy. Bleed teal and black. Okay. True or false. My brother is at currently at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Raise your hand if you think it's true. Hands down if it's false. Three, two, one. That is true. Awesome. If you got it right, sucks if you got it wrong. Miss Murphy, if anyone is still standing, if there's more than one, keep playing. If there's only one person, they get the candy, okay? So if any, at any point, the only one person standing, they get the candy, okay? And if there's a tie, if two people lose at the same round, then those two people get candy, okay? All right, true or false, Thor is my favorite Marvel superhero. Thor is my favorite Marvel superhero. Three, two, one. This is false. My favorite Marvel superhero is Spider-Man. All right, true or false, I was born in the state of Florida. Three, two, one. False, I grew up in Florida, but I was actually born in Maryland. All right, true or false, my favorite class in high school was calculus. Three, two, one. I'm a math geek, that is true. True or false, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Hands up if you think it's true, hands down if you think it's false. Those of you seated, you can still play, but you are not in the game. Three, two, one, false. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. If Miss Murphy, now you can give the candy out to whoever won. Um, thanks for playing, guys, just to give you guys a little bit of information about me. All right, so it's your turn, okay? So you guys have an assignment due on Friday. It's to tell me a little bit about yourselves. So follow the instructions on the board. This is also available on the assignment. You'll find an assignment called the About Me assignment. Again, it is due Friday morning at 8 a.m., okay? Now, before you start working on this, okay, I wanna show you my how I did it. This example is also available on that assignment on Canvas. What I want you guys to do now is I want to find out how well you are paying attention, okay? So on Canvas, you're going to go to the assignment titled Scavenger Hunt. So you're gonna find the Canvas, it's a quiz called Scavenger Hunt. It should be under general classroom information. You're gonna take that quiz, it's 10 questions. If you get all questions correct, you'll get 100%. Keep taking the quiz until you get 100. Don't share your answers, okay? I want you to take it on your own. And it's basically a scavenger hunt for different things on my Canvas page, on my YouTube page, on big ideas, all that jazz, okay? So please, please, please take some time right now and play the scavenger hunt. 
do not stop taking it until you get 100, okay? So once you get 100, then you are done with the scavenger hunt um, and you can start working on your About Me assignment. Miss Murphy, you are the bomb. Guys, give a round of applause for Miss Murphy. Thank you so much. Um, take that Canvas quiz and I will see you guys on Monday, okay? Don't forget to bring your headphones for tomorrow.